This is part one in the series, How to Run a PBIS School, Holding a PBIS Meeting. Ensure that you have your agenda set so everybody comes PBIS prepared. Ensure that your team is a representative mix of teachers and staff. The PBIS team can be organized into subcommittees. These could include communications, teaching, data, and attendance. Don't forget that PBIS is based on positive interventions. Remember to catch your students being good. Discussions within the meeting can be kept short or can go as long as they need to in order for everyone to have a say. Remember to look where data points are missing in order to make appropriate decisions for your school. You are only as good as the data you collect. Ensure that all of your teachers are inputting correctly so you can make the best decisions. It's important to look at data so that way you can determine which interventions are effective and which need to be abandoned. It's a common misconception that behavioral data makes a teacher or school look bad. PBIS team members need to work to dispel misconceptions. Okay, so brown bus, is there another bus that's having more issues than others? As our collection systems continue to improve, we will be better equipped to deal with behaviors of concern. Plans for specific areas can be developed. Implementation is delegated to the appropriate staff. As monthly data is reviewed, trends are noted. Year-to-year -year data can be used to determine the effectiveness of school-wide interventions. Teams should frequently discuss areas and behaviors that are of greatest concern. Though data is important, it is imperative that teachers' concerns are addressed in a timely fashion. This increases teacher buy-in and will smooth the transition into the PBIS process. The little kids are like, PBIS schools are always striving to improve. Reflecting on past successes and failures helps guide future decisions. All stakeholders need to be aware of the expectations. Families need to be consistently reminded that the school is a safe and orderly environment. Clarification of duties, as well as time frames, are discussed during the conclusion. It's important that all members and staff share the responsibilities of PBIS implementation. Information from PBIS meetings should be shared with staff. Ongoing projects must be reported on at each meeting. Thank you.